Hello, hi, good morning. How are you doing? It's Jim. It's Wednesday. And today, thanks to Walt, we're listening to, not that, but that. This is Alice in Chains uh, with an EP called SAP. S-A-P. Now, it's not SAP as in the resource planning software that is used throughout the world. Um, this is uh, sap as in the juice that comes out of trees. Well, I presume it is because that's a picture on the back of a, can I get into focus? There you go. Of a bucket with a tap coming out of a tree and something dribbling out of it. Um, now, this may seem quite unbelievable to you, and it probably is unbelievable to me as well, that I don't know Alice in Chains. Of course, I know the name of the band. Um, and I, I aware that they have been around for a long time, um, and I've done a little just sort of quick look onto uh, YouTube to look at their their tracks on there, and their most famous biggest track has had, had 100 and, 150 plus million views or something like that, and sort of the next five or six after that have also had sort of very impressive view numbers, but it is not music that I think I've ever heard. I don't know. Anyway. This is an EP which I think is uh, mostly acoustic and it's been requested by Walt as part of his membership of the channel. So thank you very much indeed, Walt. It's a, a, a very, very good thing that you have selected. Uh, well, I'd like to say I think it is, and we shall find out now. So Alice in Chains, the genre is rock, grunge, heavy metal. Um, they are, bear with me, uh, you probably all know this anyway, so I'm telling you stuff that you already know. Uh, Alice in Chains is an American rock band from Seattle, formed in about 1987 by guitarist, vocalist Jerry Cantrell and drummer Sean Kinney. And they later recruited bassist Mike Starr and lead vocalist Lane Staley. Starr was replaced by Mike Inez in 1993. William Duval joined the band in 2006 as co-lead vocalist and rhythm guitarist replacing Staley who died oh dear and died in 2002 the band took its name from Staley's previous group the glam metal band Alice in Chains um, and they have been active 1987 to 2002 I guess they took a break when uh, when he died and then started up again in 2006 and been going uh again till uh till now they're still still going strong so i don't really know what to expect um i know that this ep being acoustic is probably not going to be representative of of their sound but uh, i'm very much looking forward to listening to it because you know this is a voyage of discovery for me and uh, and this is something i want to discover so here we go All right let's get the old thing lined up over there oh should i tell you what we're going to be listening to that'd help wouldn't it where's my glasses gone Duh. <laughs> uh, we have Brother, Got Me Wrong, Right Turn, I Am Inside. And then Walt said, ignore the hidden fifth track because it's just a throwaway bit of nonsense that's kind of just fun. So I've, I haven't even selected that. That's not going to be played. So we've got these four to come. This is what we're going to be listening to. So... Let's do it. Three, two, one. Pop. Laser effect on his voice. Okay, well, 
almost uh, not the traditional uh, um, definition of acoustic. Apart from acoustic guitars. Uh, got me wrong. It's a really good sound. I do like it. It's not technically what you call acoustic, but it's quite well, quite stripped back. a slight uh, feeling sound god 
very sudden uh, right this is uh, right turn there's another band this reminds me of a little bit is um, live live I don't know how you pronounce it but uh, they had a really really great song called lightning Crashes. But it's so hard and his, his singing still was a little bit of that.
Fade away. It's just getting going. Hmm. Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. BRMC. A little bit of that in there as well. This is really cool. I'm enjoying this. This. Is I am inside. C5 going on.
Oh, nice ending. Oh, that was lovely. Fab. Well, 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 Walt. Thank you. Um, I uh, sir, really, I enjoyed that a lot. I don't know anything about this band. Um, I know about the band. I don't know anything about their music. And um, this, I suspect, is not how they genuinely or generally sound. So I am interested now to sort of go off and explore them a little more to, to find out more what they're about. So the grungy side. I don't know if I was ever really a massive sort of grunge fan, although I do... I've, of course, heard Nevermind and played a lot of their tracks and covers bands and uh, and I know um, uh, Soundgarden quite well. I don't really think I know any Pearl Jam and... Um, what else have we got? Audio Slave. I think they were in, in the mix as well. Some, but there's uh, so I I know bits and pieces of the genre, and and some of the stuff is really catchy and sort of quite fun, and I enjoy it a lot. But uh, a lot of it I don't know at all. It kind of just sort of passed me by, along with <laughs> a lot of other stuff in the in the nineties, because uh, my mind was elsewhere. Uh, I don't know what my mind was doing, um, but uh, there we go. So yeah, I'm interested to explore this and find out more about this band and uh, listen to a little more. If you'd like it on the channel, then do let me know and we'll be listening to it together, but otherwise I'll be doing it in my own time. But uh, well, thank you so much. Um, I hope that was uh, what you wanted and you enjoyed. I absolutely did. I think uh, there's some really good, strong um, correlations in there to some other bands that I know. Uh, I don't know if you know or not, Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, I've said a couple of times in there. Uh, BRMC, uh, they have got some really cool sort of uh, acoustic, gospely rock stuff going on, and um, and some of this reminded me ever so much of that, and uh, that was really cool. I enjoyed it a lot. Right, so there we go. I'll leave it there. I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim over and out. Hey, Lawrence, uh...